I've got to say, even myself was a little upset at the last episode, okay? We went through so much hell, so much crap, trying to save our boss's wife. Which, by the way, I do believe is within the family. I don't know why. I believe this is a setup within the family. I could be wrong. But I was a little bit upset at the fact that we went through hell and back. And at the end of the day, we were this close. And we still didn't manage to save our boss's wife. That's pretty much where we're at. We're, we're just still in the scavenger hunt. I, I don't know what's going to happen next. They took her on a boat very, very far away, I suppose. Maybe to a different part of Brazil or perhaps. Um, and that's where we stand right now. I'm really, really intrigued as to what's going to happen next in this story. Max Payne is here to bring the pain. So I hope you guys enjoy. As always, my name is Hollow. And welcome back to Max Payne. Three. Chapter six already. Oh, give me a second. I'm not feeling so good. Bon dia. Ela se estava aí? O que que o senhor acha? Claro que sim. E o senhor bem pontual, não? Tudo bem. Oh, little you feisty there. You fucking pair of clowns. I'm sorry, sir. We risked our lives several times over trying to save. I, I, I know. I just wish I knew what was happening and why. Yes. Who has it in for our family? I mean, just because we are rich and happy. Is that a good reason to hate us? I do a lot of good in this town. A lot. This is hell for me. As I told you yesterday, when I get Fabiana back, I think I will move us to Miami or Geneva. It feels like nothing good can come Did from living Did you see how the younger brother right looked? Now. I hope you're not giving up on our city, Senor Branco. Listen, we will catch the man. You have my word on that. Listen to Mr. Becker, brother. Yes, these are tough times, but we have been through it before. Like when father died. Father had a heart attack visiting a brothel. Yeah, it was humiliating, embarrassing for sure. But now this is different. This is the end for me. Well, she's not dead. Maybe we'll be lucky and get her back safe soon. I can almost guarantee it. If you do as I ask. I don't know, man. Maybe. Somebody in here is in on this. Be strong, brother. For your wife. I know this has been tough on you, but things will get better for all of us. Hmm? Marcelo, pasos. This Marcelo guy's probably banging way. his wife, sure. bro. There's just no Mr. way Becker, he's not. Senor, let us give you a ride. Bon. Até logo, senor Branco. And may I say, you would be best served se contratar profissionais e não esses amadores pés de chinelo. Goodbye, Mr. Baker. Até logo, Sr. Branco. I had so many plans, Max. Didn't we all? I was born into great fortune. Sometimes it feels like I have done nothing apart from being a rich man in a poor country. The men I talk to, they only see money. Now my wife. I am not naive. She does not love me for my body. Your bathroom. Despite your good fortune, you're still a decent man. <laughs> Am I? I don't know. I try to be. But maybe I'm just another rich fool, just like the rest of my friends. Com licença, tem uma ligação para o senhor, um policial chamado Senhor da Silva. Ah, diga que eu ligo mais tarde. Sim. Another bent cop wanting a pension contribution. You think a pile of shit feels popular because it's surrounded by flies? <laughs> That's a good mess. one. <laughs> you think a pile of shit feels popular because it's surrounded by flies? Yes, you can enter. Senor, we have a problem. The system of security was deactivated. Oh, the security that. system failed. We got men entering the building, and the office won't lock down. Oh, that's not good. It's not working. Uh, there's a way to reboot the system. If I can get to the server room, I should be able to get everything back online. Strange. You pay a couple million dollars and you expect to, to push a button to, to be able to, to make all your problems go away. All I got was some useless junk and a bit of false confidence. I'm done, Max. Sir, let us handle this. You stay in your office, lock yourself in. Do not answer the door unless you know it's me. Let's go. 
I should be able to override the system if I could just get to the server room. What's going on? Nothing to worry about. Everything's fine. Get down behind the desk now, both of you. <gasps> Ooh, it's time to bring the pain. <laughs> Time to bring the pain, Biatch! This game just feels like straight up cheating, bro. Like, I know that at the end of the day, I've got myself a little backup. Although you do lose health relatively quick. And sometimes it could be a little challenging, though. But I know that I've always got, in my backup, I've always got the little slow-mo, like this. If I want to make sure I put some bullets in the ass proper fashion and i almost broke my back against that glass kid it's max pain here you're talking about i wish i knew what these people were saying okay one thing i do not like about the game is the constant blurs in the cutscenes it's just like way too distracting like that there's no Real need for that security guards had been run off paid off or bumped off I mean, that maybe left it's us a dream or it wasn't a fantastically comforting thought this code should get us into the boardroom. Okay. Glad There's gonna be people the security there. System is keeping the right people out. And this kid's gonna die. Oh, oh, I got the Uzi. What am I doing, bro? I'm max fucking pain! Oh! <laughs> oh my god. If the bullets don't kill me, the trauma will, I swear. I keep bagging myself into things. What's going on with me? It's through here. Okay. The server room is just past those cubicles. Stay These here, kid. clowns were the same guns for hire who jumped our exchange at the stadium. Yep. Crotch of Prado, the black badge. Right wing paramilitary chumps protecting whoever paid the most. I guess that made them more like me than I cared to admit. Were they just looking for another payday or did their business with the Broncos run deeper? Alright, here we go. <laughs> I mean, I just like them. But I don't like about going against these guys is that they've got like 300 health. Hold on. They've got a lot of health. Alright, we're gonna run for it. Oh! The reload, Max Payne! Shit. Did take my pills? Almost died there. Almost. Very close caught. Dude, that's actually very brutal. Very, very hey. visually stunning. We're good to go. Let's get that Freaking server bullet holes online. all over his face. Can we just spend a few more minutes? Make sure they're all gone? Come on. Don't worry. I got your back. Poor kid was scared shitless. But I thought we'd seen the worst of it. Okay. The, the server room is just down here. You're doing good. Come on. Hey. I just, I didn't think I'd have a day like this when I wake up in the mornings. <laughs> Wish I could say the same thing. Hmm? Fact was, I'd gotten used to protecting Bronco in the big bad world. We hadn't anticipated a siege situation here. Hadn't prepared for it. I couldn't tell the kid that. Oh my god. Something told me these guys didn't have security clearance. Gotta go for the head on these guys. Yep, it's the only way. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Show your head. No. Oh my god! <laughs> Fucking 
grenade in midair. You serious? You crazy fucks. Man, there's so many of them. What the hell is this? I just realized this, but man, there's a lot of like elemental objects in this game. Oh man, this is not good at all. Fuck. Like you shoot things and they just fall apart. Again, pretty impressive for being such an old game. Okay, that's good. We just round up and get some ammo. Not doing too hot. Got ourselves a nice little new, uh, very nice. You know what? I'm going to stick with this. Yeah. All right. Let's go get this kid. Where is he? Come on, move. You're going to be able to fix this or what? Give me two minutes, eh? I should be able to reboot the system, get all the components back online. What about Bronco's office? That's all I care about. He should be able to lock us down, eh? If this works. All right, whatever you're doing, do it quick. I'm gonna make a sweep of the building and then get back to Rodrigo's. I would not leave that kid there alone. The security system was back online. Things might be a little tougher for our fan club from here on in. It seemed like breaching the perimeter had been no more difficult than strolling through the front gates. But hey, who needs a Trojan horse when the alarm is down and your standing army is a dame, a dork, and a drunk? Bronco's office <laughs> overlooked the dork. atrium. I could check in and make sure he hadn't checked out. All right, let's see. Onto the beautiful Max. garden. Your guy's working on the security system now, sir. It just came on. Okay, good. Then lock yourself down. Stay put. Let us take care of these guys down here. Once they realize they can't get to you, they should back off. Max. Try not to completely destroy the place. Let's just concentrate on staying alive. Sir. There it went. He was tucked up safe. Now I needed to make it to the lobby to complete my sweep of the building for what that was worth. Oh my God. But I feel like the, the the worst is yet to come. Oh, we can actually come inside the bathroom. I'd woken up with a headache and it was only getting worse. You guys always got headaches and shit, bro. Mm, graduation <laughs> shots of Rodrigo, Victor, and Marcelo educated at rich kid finishing schools all over Europe. No wonder they had the common touch. So they're from Europe. Okay. Oh. Oh. Poor girl was dead, shot through the head by some hero fighting the rich one lonely secretary at a time. Oh, dude. Yo, where is the security in this building? Like, there's literally no security. What if we, what if Max Payne didn't come here? Oh my god! What the fuck is this? <laughs> this man is immortal! There's no way! <laughs> Bro, this, this is so wild to me. This is wild. Like, like this dude is too OP right now. <laughs> Trap. Oh my god. Pop a pill real quick. Come on, what the hell? I called it. Jesus, dude. 
I mean, you may have a helmet, but if you're getting bullets to the face... The elevator would take me back up to Rodrigo's office where we could wait the rest of it out. Alright, let me just make sure I got some ammo here, dude. Oh, what the hell? Ah, oh, there's only 36 bullets, though. You know what? I'll keep my little AR. Not as fancy. Not as intimidating, for that matter, but, uh... I'm gonna keep that. The elevator should be up here. I didn't know what the hell I was going to find up there, but I sensed it wasn't going to be a stripper bursting out of a cake. <laughs> Senor Branco! Senor Branco! I can't get through to him. Ever since the security door is triggered, he hasn't made a sound. Rodrigo, it's Max. Open up. Can you hear me? Eu já tentei. Senor Branco, open up! I'm going to try to get in there from the roof. You find the security guard and get the hell out of here. Yes. I knew there was another way in upstairs for the helipad, the little luxury runaround that kept the rich looking down on the poor literally as well as metaphorically. Rodrigo! 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 Oh! No. God damn it. <laughs> of course he was dead. Clean, one shot, a professional job. I began to look for clues. Dude, what? I couldn't get playback on one of the cameras and it looked like the disc was missing. Someone in this building was trying to keep things low-key. But then why had everyone else come driving through the goddamn wall? Maybe as a distraction. Man. Fabiana. Even if the man who employed me was dead, his wife was still out there. Maybe she could be saved. Maybe some good... Ah. Take a good hit. <laughs> Picking the photo from the broken fragments, something caught my eye. Figures. Wow, talk about things happen for a reason, huh? Only blind luck, it meant the blast wasn't fatal. If I'd been out for any longer, the smoke would have gotten me. What the fuck? What happened to everybody else? What happened to the, the dork? Or so Look Max called him. I've been contracted to protect two people. One was being held in some hole. The other was sitting at his desk with a bullet in his head. And the company that had its logo on my paycheck was melting on top of my head. Yo, so we are Shit. on... If I survive this, it'd be a victory for gross incompetence. We are officially unemployed. <laughs> Whatever happened to my friend, the guy that came with us here? The kid hadn't made it. Fuck. I had to make this corpse looting coward pay. Getting his gun was more than just expediency. Fucking asshole, dude. Oh. No one would be rebooting his system. Poor bastard. Dude. Man, I actually feel bad for him. What the hell are you guys doing here? Like, who the hell comes inside a burning building to finish somebody off? What type of crap is that? Rodrigo. 
Rigo or not, Fabricast Bronco is falling apart quite literally. Oh my god. This is unbelievable. <sighs> Despite his manners, I'd done him a favor. This didn't look like a room where Rodrigo closed multi-million dollar deals. It looked like a fiery hellhole. This is crazy. The fact that there's still these freaking crazy fucks here. That makes no sense to me. Like, I, I, I would have... I know some of them here are trapped, but... Like, bro, look. Break that glass right there. Hey, it's bulletproof. Never mind. The only way out was to use that filing cabinet. Alright, uh, these guys actually were doing the right thing. Trying to escape, but those other people are trying to look for me. Or maybe they were just trying to find another way out. And run into me. <laughs> Unfortunately for them. Oh! I think if we don't dive to the explosion, we would have already died due to so the smoke. So much for a lazy Sunday afternoon. My next trick would be a high wire act with a fiery pit for a safety net. It was nice that no one was shooting at me for a change, but I'd take shot in the head over a slow roast on a spit any day of the goddamn week. One thing I will say about this game, there's way too much, like, smart narration. Like, this guy's got a smart mouth for everything that he narrates. I don't know. I feel like it's a little overkill. Like, bro, just shut up and let me freaking play the game. What do you guys think about that? Do you agree or not? I, I like the narration, but sometimes it's a little, a little too excessive, bro. Someone up ahead was hurt pretty bad. If he didn't die before I got to him, I might get some answers. Oh, he did. Rodrigo Bronco! Why? What? Why did you come to kill Rodrigo Bronco? Came to kill you! Because of what you did to us! You killed so many of us! What reason did this poor bastard have to lie? He would be dead from shock or loss of blood in half an hour, even if I didn't leave him there to burn. Uh, uh. Where's Fabiana? What? Fabiana Bronco, where is she? I uh, Mondo Sombra got her. Up the hill. Then uh, it was up the hill for me, I guess, where the gang held sway. I had to try to figure out who was using these angry paramilitary clowns as some kind of front to kill Rodrigo. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, he saved his life. Saved his freaking life. <laughs> Back I to the drinks, baby. Yeah. Rodrigo Bronco was dead. Fabiana was held hostage. I had no idea who was behind any of this. I felt like a fool. I was a sweaty, gray-haired mess. This place, well, this place was gonna kill me too. I could see that now. I decided that I was going to die sober, not drunk. Ah! At least then I would see who shot me. It was time to take back control from whoever was out to get me. And if I didn't flush them out, at least my midlife crisis would confuse them enough so they did something stupid. It was the only hope I had. I knew I wasn't thinking straight. I'd been drinking and popping painkillers for years. I had a liver like a French goose and skin like red leather. Oh shit. Oh, this is where he takes off his hair. 
Oh, he looks so badass. Well, it wasn't perfect. In fact, it wasn't much good at all. But it was gonna have to do. At Yo, least he's facing in the right direction. Bro, he looks like Walter White. Was it Walter White? I forgot now the real the name. Oh, and these guys are here Hello. like if nothing ever happened. Victor. Max, Max, you're, you're you're alive? Of course I'm alive. We did not know this. We are lost, Max. Our brother was everything to us. I understand. Listen, I'm I'm sorry about your loss, both of you. Rodrigo was a good man. I failed him, I, but I was tricked. What happened, Max? I don't know. Some guys from the crush of Prado came into the building downstairs, so while me and the security guard were dealing with them, an assassin must have come in and executed your brother. I, at least that's how I think it happened. No, you killed him, Poha. You killed my brother. What are you talking about? I, I understand you're upset, but please, why the hell would I do that? To get his money, to take his money. How am I getting his <laughs> money, Marcel? Please, think. I worked my ass off for your family. I saved your life twice or more. Right now, I'm going to get Fabiana. Where is she? Where is Fabiana, eh? She's in a place called Nova Esperanza. How do you know this, Max? One of the crotch of Prado told me just before he died. Please, bring our sister-in-law back to us, Max. Our family is being torn apart. I don't trust these assholes. Chapter 7. I don't trust them. So I but guess I was finally about to go and experience the other side of Sao Paulo firsthand. The bit people try to ignore. The unpleasant memory they try to obliterate with cocktails and helicopters and parties and lines of blow. Like rich fools the world over. I was a day off the sauce for the first time in years and knew I was due a hangover sent direct from Mother Nature. Oh God. I better not get no damn copyright strike for this Brazilian music. <laughs> I had no idea where the hell I was gonna go, so I decided to head straight for the street party that seemed to be raging. Either that or some other fool had gotten there before me and now was being ritually sacrificed. I've had better ideas, but then I've also had worse ones, like accepting this job in the first place. There's a little kid following me around. That little kid right there. He lost, kid. Speak English? Uh huh, falo sim, sem problema. I need to know if you've ever seen this girl, Fabiana. Come here for a second, look at her. I know lots of girls, sexy. Come on, come on. What? This way. <laughs> Where are you going? Wait a minute. Down there? <laughs> Isso. Jeez. I don't know, man. A little crazy. At least I found myself a tour guide. A tour guide. Yo, this place looks crazy though. Holy crap. Hurry, mister! Party! The way I see it, there's two types of people. Oh my god, they trapping spend their them. lives trying to build a future and those who spend their lives trying to rebuild the past. For too long I've been stuck in between. Hidden in the dark. What was I really doing walking in there with my bad haircut and ridiculous shirt? Was I there to make something <laughs> right? Or was I just using a messed up situation to indulge myself? Grasping at some desperate delusion of control. Maybe the two went hand in hand more than I cared to admit. Oh, what is going on here? What? <laughs> this is a concert. Oh. 
I had stumbled into some kind of street party. This was the kind of reality Americans paid top dollar to see. Slums had become tourist attractions, places where yuppies could gawk at the endless spirit of the poor from the inside of their bulletproof buses. I mean, nobody should recognize me, right? dumb and exposed. So. I missed the booze. Not that it mattered. Sober or drunk, I was hardly oh, on the cover. Shit. I stood out in this place like a streetwalker in a monastery. Uh-oh. Come on, guys. I'm just here for the party. Come on, I don't need to get crazy. What do you need, guys? What do you need? Uh, easy, pal, easy. Uh, look, I didn't mean any offense. Uh, Desculpa, amigo, por favor. Oh. All things considered, I was gonna have to look on this as a good outcome. I was deep in gang territory. These kids were raised hating clowns like me. Middle income ass kickers who protected the rich by shooting kids like them. Wow. First day off the sauce, and somehow I'd still ended up in the gutter. Maybe that vision, that blurriness that we get during the cutscenes, maybe that's just a way of the game just portraying his like just overall feeling. As he's always on the sauce. Learned since I've been here, it was that Brazilians came out of the womb kicking a ball, and for kids like these, was their one legal chance at a ticket out of here. That's crazy, man. Desculpa, hola. Fala inglês. I'm a little lost. Perdido? Onde é Stu? No lugar errado, rapá. No comprende. I need a phone, a telephone. Bora. Publico. A gente não é centro de informação turística, não. Well, they weren't going to help me. And who could blame them? I was a dumb American in a place where dumb Americans were less popular than the clap. If I was going to find my way out of this mess, I was on my own. <laughs> it looked like there was a bar up ahead. The irony was not lost on me. I figured sobriety was no use to me dead. Palacio. I guess we are better when we're drunk. Fuck it. Let me tell you, the favelas aren't really that bad now that I come to think of it. Nothing but party booze and girls. Oh, God. Oh, whoa, what the hell is going on over there? Oh, okay. <laughs> oh God! I hoped this classy-looking establishment oh. would have a phone so I could call Passos. Either that or a gun so I could shoot myself and save these kids the bother. Hey, that telephone. Telephone. Vai lá no fundo. Segue em frente. When you're stuck in a foreign country and you don't know the words for reverse charges and you're in some lonely skin joint in the middle of some poor slum having just had every last cent robbed from you and you call yourself a bodyguard, then you know you're a loser. Hey Matt, can I buy you a beer? Wait, what? Do I know you? I don't think so. Look, if you're gonna shoot me, to make it quick, I'm a little busy. If I was going to shoot you, I wouldn't waste a beer. Oh. Alright. Wilson, 
da Silva. Very good to meet you. Nice to meet you, I think. Although you'll forgive me if I promise never to employ you as my bodyguard. You did a great job watching after Rodrigo Branco. Fuck you. You were set up. Bet your ass I was. Now, let me ask you something. Have you ever seen this guy? Sihano. Yep. He's a real sweetheart. Yeah, you sure put his gang out of business. But don't worry, those guys, they're a small fry. This is the guy I'm interested in. Oh, that's Nevis. the guy. Oh, isn't that the guy from the stadium? Here. Milo Hegel. They work for this vigilante group, Krasha Preto. Yeah, I know him. Well, they're very popular with right-wing politicians, like Victor Branco. Now, you see, many years ago, he helped clear some villages on a bit of land Rodrigo Branco wanted to develop. Rodrigo Branco? Yes, he did some very bad things. Anyway, have you ever seen this guy? Maybe at the stadium. I knew you were involved in that business. You know, I wanted to investigate that, but I got an order to blame it on some local street kids instead. Tell me, what happened there? Nothing, we simply went to hand over some cash to this guy's clowns for a, a ransom exchange when this guy's clowns jumped us and they shot everybody. Apart from you and your boy Passos. That's right. But we had to shoot our way out of there. <laughs> they let you go. <laughs> it's okay, it's a little weird right now. But I know that Victor Branco is involved in all this. I just don't know how or why. And I know that the Ufe are involved in all this as well, but I just don't know how or why. Wow. And you know what's gonna happen? The moment is gonna come along when I put all these pieces together, and at that moment, someone is gonna come along and put a bullet in my head. Anyway, listen. I think you might want this. Thank you. I'll need it. And if it's Fabiana Branco you've come looking for, I think she's up the hill. So why don't you just go get her? I don't know. I'm a cop. I mean, I'll fight corruption. I'll stand up to the rich and dumb, but if I go up that hill right now, I'll be dead in three minutes or less. Maybe you too, Max. You're in the jungle now. So it appears. If you survive the next hour, let's speak. You help me. And I'm gonna do what I can to help you. Good luck. I didn't know what to make of what this guy had just told me. What was true and what was just someone else's convenient bullshit. Then some less than friendly locals came in and found me in the wrong mood to party. Hey, 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 hey. Green. What are you doing? No comprende. Leave me alone. Você tem alguma coisa pra mim? Do you got something for me? For you? I'll tell you what I got. I got a gun, and if anybody thinks they're gonna take it from me, they'd be dead wrong. Shut your ass. Don't fuck with the gringo. Don't mess with the gringo. Do not mess with the green go. Where am I getting shot from? Hold on. <laughs> Shit. Now right, you know what? Now I got AKs. So this is good. Yes. Game is wild. It looks like people having sex here or shit. What's going on? Oh, don't worry. I'm not going to do anything. I am Monday one of the good guys. Noon, and I'd already been thrown out of a party, gone to a strip club, and got into a bar fight. This latest midlife crisis was certainly ticking all the boxes. Okay. Oh, I got to go back where I came from? Got to set up the hill. Hmm. Back up 
É o gringo? Ah, não sei. Tô vendo porra nenhuma. A gente desce ou não? Foda-se. Isso aí... Isso aí já era, não vale a pena não. É certo. The fireworks display was clearly in my honor, making sure everyone knew to roll out the red carpet for their surprise guest. Oh, that's pretty much them telling them that we're here. I was walking into another not-so-welcome party. These hoods didn't look like Commando Sombra. Not that I was gonna get picky. This was clearly their turf, and I just shot up their favorite skin joint. Just shut up the red skin joint. <laughs> skin joint. That's the first time I ever actually heard that word. The first trip club. The skin joint. Oh, that's actually a good one. Funny, cause in the favelas, it's always known like you got people above with guns and stuff. Even even in Modern Warfare too, like you. You don't get like people just straight in front of you. You'll have people three stories above you, weird angles. That's what makes gameplay in the favelas unique when it comes to games. Oh god. Oh man, I'm almost dead. Alright, good. Holy cow. That was a close one. Probably should play a little bit more defensive here. I was getting nowhere fast. The cold turkey was messing with me, like I was looking through another man's eyes. I, I could hear focus. a woman screaming. I thought I'd found Fabiana, but instead I'd stumbled across some testosterone fest. A bunch of young punks with guns <laughs> killing time the only way they Oh, those are the people that took our guns. Nova Esperanza wasn't exactly... Oh, what the hell? Sorry. Exactly a dinner and movie kind of place. I recognized the hoods who jumped me earlier. I was trying to decide whether to crash this party or turn back when my natural grace and finesse made the decision for me. Ah! You guys remember me, punks? Huh? Oh my god, what the hell? <laughs> oh, so much gangsterness going on in this game. It's too much to handle. Oh my god. This has been a cool a cool episode, I will say the least. I mean what? Never mind. That makes it's been a cool episode, to say the least. It's been fun. Oh, okay. Ooh. A little pills. Oh shit. Oh. Oh, let's go. It's like them quick scopes. Huh? <laughs> The other pill. Oh. Shit, dude. The hell? What do you think of life? Oh. <laughs> well, let's go up here. You guys are not ready for the pain. I'm here to bring the pain. I think that's the last one. Yep. That's the last one. 
Oh, I hear kids in there. Or not. Those are just women screaming. Okay, where to now? He's got to be nearby. Just like the guy said, up the hill. These bastards look different, tougher, more capable. They didn't look like Serrano's boys, but I could tell I was moving up the food chain. I hoped Fabiana wasn't going to be served up come feeding time. Oh, man. Holy cow. Yeah, that's right. There Close the no doors. There was to announce my arrival in that part of town. I'd drawn more than enough attention already. Up the hill. This is up the hill right here. Gonna pop a pill just in case. Oh, they know. <laughs> Max Payne is here, biatch. You guys ready to face the consequences? It look like you are. Oh shit, what the hell? Holy crap. Sneaky. My boys. Very sneaky. I've got another pill just in case I need some aiding. Giovanna, charity worker and socialite. Work with the poor and play with the rich. You try to live in two worlds. Eventually, you're gonna get your life ripped apart. Oh, shit. Oh, on the bright side, I got some more pills here. Oh, fuck. This is off. Unfortunately, there was nobody there. Can we leave now? Anything else in here that I can use? Or pills or no? Alright. Oh, what the hell? Holy crap, dude. Got some booze. But imagine all the roaches and shit that must live around here, all the rats and stuff. It must be crazy. Are we going the right way or what? Oh my god. Just banged my freaking head against the wall there. Alright, good. We came from up there. I mean, from down there. Go up here. I don't think it's this way. Yeah, I think it's down through here. Yeah, it's gotta be down through here. No? What? And maybe I gotta finish off these guys. Oh, could it be through here? Where the hell is this? Oh! There we go. Okay, where do we go? That's the question. There we go. You can't advance unless you've killed all the people, I think. Oh, shit. <sighs> He's about to get smoked. You like that? You and your boys? Ah, oh, run of ammo. Ah, 
That's right, boys. Say hello to the bad guy. Oh, that's actually very gruesome. Bullet shots in your belly. Examine the drugs. Me about this stuff. Oxidado. They called it rust. Packed full of healthy ingredients like quicklime and kerosene. Cheaper, stronger, and deadlier than crack. Easily marketed to the poor and desperate. All in all, a fine, honorable way to earn a living. Damn, you're selling dough here. Fireworks. Breakable wall. I couldn't find any clues in this place, so I decided to do my bit for the drugs trade. <laughs> He's gonna blow that shit up. Oh, wow. That's crazy. Up the hill we go. Better close your doors, man. I'm here to bring the pain. That much security, it had to be Serrano's pad. Since I was in the neighborhood, I figured he wouldn't mind if I dropped in and thanked him personally for his hospitality. Oh shit, they locked me in. They know we're here. Like he wasn't expecting me. Oh my god. Why do they always switch over to the handgun? Like, dude. Come on, come on, come on. Who else? Anybody else want some? Oh, what the fuck? This is crazy. Look at this dude being burnt alive. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, wreck, nerd. Oh, this is nuts, bro. Nuts for real, for real. I had to hope the king was in his castle. Uh, he probably isn't even gonna be there. As I approached the spot, I could hear raised voices. <gasps> then I saw that Marcello had turned up with a suitcase full of money along with Fabiano's sister, Giovanna. I only understood a little, but things were not going well. I wasn't expecting quite so many armed goons, but there was no backing out now. I would just have to act harder than I felt. Put the guns down! What a fucking idiot. Let the girls go. No one needs to die, asshole. Don't you kill her! Don't you? Okay. What the frickin- Hey, 